McKenzie. I am up in Edmonton at Ravensfire Sculpture Studio. This is Will Johnson. He is a sculpturist that we have commissioned through the 1% uh, for Art program at the City of Lacombe. He's going to be creating a kinetic tree for us for downtown where all the um, reconstruction work has been going. So hi Will. Hi Maureen. Nice to, nice to see you. You too. So we're up here in Edmonton today to see how the progression is coming on this statue and for Will to be able to explain to you a little bit about his process and uh, what we can expect to see hopefully the end of August, early September. I started out by producing a four foot model for the uh, city, mm -hmm. uh, for the committee, which is over here, pretty much demonstrating the concept, the, the basic shape and appearance of the tree. This actually would be a section of upper branches for the tree. What I do is I start by taking a straight length of Schedule 40 pipe, it's a very thick pipe, and I put slices in it. I actually slice it not all the way through, but I slice it various sides, different sides, to be able to spread to spread that open. I want to be able to walk around this and look at it from any given side and to see an interruption in that smooth surface. So I attach these, I then place a piece of bark over and then using my torch, oxy sunlight torch, I heat and hammer this over this ground, uh, this, this rock. I will then weld all down this seam to produce the same surface that I have here on the model. I'm going to use the weldment, the actual uh, weld uh, rod, the MIG wire, and I'm going to actually play with that and weld down and just literally draw with the metal rod. My goal is to make it as organic and as realistic as possible without at the same time still retaining that creative uh, yeah. sculptural Feel. I'm not trying to make, a, a, you know, an actual tree here, of course. Right, yeah. When I first started contemplating how I was going to produce the canopy, mm -hmm. um, my first thought was, of course, just using organic shapes created out of flat sheet. Mm -hmm. And I started really observing the leaves on the trees uh -huh. as they were growing and started realizing look at all the positive and negative space, which is something I love to work with anyway in my sculpture. Um, so I happen to have this sitting around the studio. That I cut this out years ago, these canopy pieces. Yeah. Uh, not these pieces, it was one sheet. Uh -huh. So I flame cut one, plasma cut one. All these shapes, these leaves, had been cut into previously. Wow. So I plasma cut this piece out of a larger piece, attached it, stood back and went wow. wow. Of course the committee saw this. Yes. They also went wow. Wow. Yes, yeah, everybody did. And, and what we realized too is when the sun shines through this canopy, you should be able to see the shadows and the shapes on the sidewalk too. So it, it, this whole art piece extends much beyond the structure itself. It starts to become a living environment, which is so cool. So this will then be cut into various organic shapes. Those shapes will then be heated with the torch and bent in various uh, suits. Uh, yeah. They'll be bent in various positions yeah. and then applied to the branches. Because this piece uh, belongs to the city, it belongs to the citizens of Lacombe, uh, again, I want them to have a sense of involvement. I want them to, to Lacombe to be represented. And so the best way I thought to do that was actually to incorporate human figures into the tree on the bark. Now this is just one example, and again this is a flat cutout figure that's now been heated and shaped so that it has the same radius as the outside of the tree. Mm -hmm. And so these figures ideally will be welded onto the tree. There'll be different sizes, different male, female. Mm -hmm. I'll incorporate some, uh, some children, uh, in, incorporate uh, everyone and ideally they'll be wrapping around the tree mm, in, how cool. in various positions. Yeah. Uh, in some cases helping each other, lending yeah. a helping hand. It's 
absolutely about involving the community and representing the community on the tree. And I think what, what I really like about this is the way these figures will ideally, they won't disappear, but you're going to have to look for them. When you stand back from the tree, you, you probably aren't going to see them right away. Mm -hmm. But as you get closer and you stand and have a look, all of a sudden you'll realize, wait a minute, there's figures in there. What a wonderful way to involve the community, Will. I think it's brilliant. So Lacombe, I hope you at this point are getting very excited about this project. The committee is absolutely thrilled. We love working with you, Will. Your vision, your creativity is beyond what we were expecting. So thank you for applying for the job. Thank you for allowing us into your studio here so that we can see what you're working on for us. And we look forward to returning in August to, uh, to see where we're at. Absolutely, Maureen. And thank you and the committee again. And I, my, my heart is into this. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah.